In this segment, we're going to take a look at some of the common PC repair tools. There's nothing really extraordinary here or very costly, but it's tools you're going to want to have with you every time you go out in the field on a job. First thing you're going to require is a set of screwdrivers, a very good set. It doesn't need to be a match set, but it does need to have varying sizes. Some of the chassis they're creating today are toolless, meaning you don't need the screwdrivers, but you don't want to leave them at home, get out in the field, and find out it's a legacy system you're working on. So take those with you. Also take a good set of loopback plugs, highly recommended for working on diagnostic equipment, making sure that everything's working okay there. If you do need to pull a, pull a car and replace it, carry some blanks with you as well there, as well as a, a good wire cutter, something that will cut through just about anything. You'll find that to be quite useful. A decent set of pliers. Craftsman makes a good set. You can pick up tools just about anywhere, though. And if, as long as it's a good set, you'll be able to use that. You'll want some needle nose pliers as well as regular pliers in that set as well. A multimeter isn't used as commonly today as it used to be, but you'll still want one of those, and particularly because it will have the voltage meter on it. This particular one is a digital multimeter. You can also find analog as well. It will test AC and DC. You want to check the supply going in and out of a power supply. Now, the power supply will put out 12 volts, 5 volts, and 3.3. This one will check both DC to make sure those are there, as well as the AC as well. Lastly, you're going to want some anti-static material. An anti-static strap is recommended. An anti-static mat is even better. The mat you spray out, put your equipment on there, and you're not going to get shocked. If you use it in conjunction with the strap, you're even better. The strap includes a resistor to make sure that you don't get shocked and will allow you to connect it to the chassis. If you're not using the mat, you can remove the alligator clip and connect this directly into the circuit, into the, the electrical outlet. Make sure it goes into the ground outlet only. You don't want it going into anything else. If you drop something inside the case, you've got a pickup tool to help you with that. And the one item that you'll notice missing from this toolkit is the 14-pound sledge. As much as you may want to use it when working on computers due to their frustration, you'll find that leaving it at home is a very wise choice. In its place, I highly recommend bringing a can of compressed air. Not only will this get rid of the debris, but also help you feel better about it as well.